Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Heffy Doodle video. Today we're going to be using this awesome Who Let the Dogs Out stamp set. This is brand new to Heffy Doodle and I love that there are five adorable little dogs in this set along with the other little items that go with it. We're also going to be using the Grassy Last Borders die along with some green cardstock that I had in my stash. Uh, we're going to make a whole grassy scene so I'll show you an easy way to cover an entire panel just using, you know, let's say you wanted to do ocean, grass, clouds, whatever the case may be, this is a good way to do it. So I'll take some of those borders and I'm just gonna tape those onto these little panels that I have and I'll run that through my die cutting machine until I have enough to cover a panel. I'm gonna pull out some green ink that I have and I'll ink this up all along those edges just using a makeup brush. Um, so I'm gonna go around all the edges. This just adds a little bit of dimension and it'll differentiate the grass blades when I actually add those on top. So uh, it adds a little depth and it's kind of fun. All right, so we'll just keep going all around all of those edges. Um, and I don't know if you've gotten a chance to check out all of the new release from Heffy Doodle. There is just so much and it's so much fun. Oh yeah, I'll be just creating for forever. I just love the whole release, it's so great. All right, we're down to our last little piece here. But all of these pieces are going to go onto a piece of cardstock that I have cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So because I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and add some of that green to the very top of that piece of cardstock too. Because like I said, I want this entire panel to look like grass. Like we're just looking down and all the dogs are having a good time. So I'll go around all the edges just in case any of that shows. And then we'll set those off to the side. Now we're going to ink up our little dogs. I end up inking up a bunch of dogs and all the little accessories that go in there. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto some Copic Friendly cardstock. And as you can see, I missed one of the little dog's faces, so we'll just ink everything up. This is one of the blessings of having a um, uh, Misty, and so I can easily do that. I actually stamped this out a couple times and I stamped out lots of the little extras, little images, and I'm gonna end up coloring all those. I won't show you all of that coloring, but I wanted to tell you about the, my thought process behind the colors that I chose. So in all honesty, looking at five separate dogs, I got a little bit overwhelmed at the idea of how many markers or colored pencils or whatever I had decided to use it was going to take to color them all. So I decided not necessarily to make it easy on myself, but and it was sort of to challenge myself, but I decided to stick with just the, the warms, just some W's. So I think the W's that I picked are like W1, then I have W... Uh, four, six, and eight. And I'm going to use only those colors to color all of the dogs. And I'll still color them all differently, which is kind of fun. And I'm putting up all the other colors that I plan to use, um, as you can see, up on the screen. And so we've got that B34, BG49 for the collar. And we'll use that for the icing, and we'll also use it for um, the other collar. And then we'll use, or I didn't use W1, it was W0. That was it. So W0, W4, W6, and W8. And I really only use two color blends for all the dogs. So this one is going to be W4 and W6, just like the last dog. Uh, and I'm going to color this one like a little French, um, what do they call it? It's a French bulldog? Yeah. So our extended family has lots of little dogs in it. Lots of big dogs, lots of little dogs. We have all varieties. We have mutts. We have just everything and one of those dogs that we have is in our family is my brother-in-law's dog named Barney and he is a French Bulldog he is so much fun <laughs> he is a trip I'll tell you I don't know how old he is or how long he's been around but he's been around for a little while now and uh, yeah he's a trip my mother and father-in-law live on some land so they have a few dogs themselves they have a little um, I think she's a lab mix with something, I don't know exactly what. Her name is Nala. They also have a dog named Major that is a Labradoodle. He's great. Uh, and then they also have a Schnauzer mix and his name is Bugsley. Um, and then my other brother-in-law has a Labradoodle as well. And then on my side of the family, um, my sister has boxers and my brother has a couple beagles and a lab mix. Uh, and then our dog, our dog of course is my favorite. <laughs> She is what we like to call a chipampoo. 
<laughs> because I don't know exactly what she has all in her, but I know she has Chihuahua and we think she might have Pomeranian and possibly Poodle. Um, but she looked very different than her siblings. And I know that she's Chihuahua cause I saw her mom. Her mom definitely had that Chihuahua face, but everything else is an absolute mystery. Uh, but she's the best. She's the best. She's, she turned 15 this month. So how cool is that? Love it. All right, now for this next blend, like I did with the last dog, this one's gonna be W6, and then we're gonna bring in that W8. So these two are gonna be a little bit darker. And I'll tell you when I did color the other set of dogs that were just like this, I swapped their colors pretty much. So the next one that I color like this, I believe I color it with W4 and W6. So we go ahead and do a little bit lighter on these other two dogs. Uh, so that's kind of fun. And like I said, I'm only using two colors to blend out on each of the separate dogs. And then I do stamp out a whole nother, because I completely forgot to stamp that fifth dog. And I color that one, the little Chihuahua looking dog, to be just like my Lolly. So yeah. Um, and as you can tell, I put their noses to be pink. We're going to use some Y38 on the dog house. And then uh, we're also going to bring in a YR, which is the oranges. So that'll go and try to make this look like there's almost like a wood grain. So we're using YR18 and we'll use flicking motions. I found that that is kind of the best way to not only blend your colors seamlessly, but also to give that wood grain look if you're using darker colors, you know, on colors that are a little bit more contrasting. And then I'll bring in that Y38 again just to kind of blend that out just a little bit more. And then we're going to bring in a brown. Now I decided to go with the warms simply because I you know, did use some brown and most of the colors that I had chosen for all of my accent colors were warmer colors, except for the teal. I did need a, that pop of teal and the grain, of course, for the grass. Um, but here we are using much warmer browns and we're using, you know, that much warmer color for the doghouse as well. But all those colors just kind of pop. And where you see a collar, we just go ahead and make those teal. We're going to make it a chocolate cake because that just sounds so good right now. Oh my goodness. My family has this chocolate cake recipe called Grandma Gone Ringers. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but it is a winner winner. Oh my goodness. Handmade and even the frosting. Oh, it's like, it's like fudge for ice cream. It's so good. All right. And then our icing will be that same teal color. And then we'll also color the bone to be more like, um, the packaging will be the teal, but the bone is going to be the yellow like we used for the dog house. So Y38. And then we'll bring in that YR18 for just a little bit of shadowing. And then the little hats, I'm not even going to do any shadowing on that, but they will all be that teal color. We'll just color those up super simple like, very easy, and that'll be that. All right, now it's time for some assembly. So I've decided that the grass is not going to be popped up with any foam tape or anything like this. This is going to actually be a fairly flat card. And you'll notice I'm not putting any glue on the upper portion of the grass. I'm putting it more towards the bottom and the center. Uh, and there's a reason for that. I want to be able to tuck my dogs in behind that grass. And now that I've got that all figured out how I want those gra you know, that grass to go, I'm going to do the same thing with all the rest of the pieces, just kind of adhering those down, but avoiding the upper part of the blades. So we'll just kind of leave that open. And now that that's all on there, I want to add some splatter. So I've used that same dye ink that I had earlier, mix it with a little bit of water on a paintbrush, and we're just going to splatter that all over our background. Once I'm happy with that splatter, we'll bring in some pearl, aqua pearl. And I do apologize that my camera's a little bit um, out of focus for whatever reason. It just took a minute. And then I'll splatter that all over the background there. When I'm happy with that, we'll clean up our mess. And I'll show you up close how cool that background actually looks. So fun. I don't know what it is about splatter. It just really adds something. But isn't that cool? A lot of texture to that. All right, and then now we're going to make our sentiment, which we're going to use some Oreo cardstock for this one. And then we'll stamp that with some Versamark ink, cover that with some white embossing powder, and then we'll heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And then once that's all smooth and melted and cooled down, we'll use our guillotine trimmer to trim down our sentiment. I'm going to leave a little bit on that left hand side just to make sure that I have plenty of room and I did add a little bit of a cockeyed banner you know to the side so and this is how I'm just kind of gluing those little guys in 
you see how those top two are all tucked in behind and we're just adding little accessories here and there they are coming for their little french bulldog buddy's birthday <laughs> i love that you can put little hats on some of these guys and there's the little chihuahua that i hadn't shown the coloring or stamping for that matter but that's what our little lolly looks like and i'll put a couple hats here and there on some of those little guys but they're all here for a party a little yappy birthday <laughs> and then i'll tack down my sentiment the same way just with some liquid glue using my glass mat to line that all up and then once I'm happy with how straight that is, I'm actually gonna pull out my guillotine trimmer one more time just to make sure that I have a good straight cut because I don't always cut straight if it's a little bit longer than normal. So we'll just put that in there and trim that down. All right, now we're gonna put a few embellishments on the outside before we attach this to a card base. These are just some little twinkle stars. These are, they're called super dazzle stars that I have. I'm just putting those down with my jewel picker and some liquid glue. You'll see those up close a little bit better at the end with some pictures and some close-ups. But again, just adding a little bit of texture to that background. And now that we're done with that, let's get our card base ready. Our card base was cut down to five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and it's going to get scored at four and a quarter inches. So this will be a side folding A2 size card. Uh, and then y'all know me I have to decorate the inside and I have plenty of little bits left over to decorate that inside So we are going to go through the same process of just gluing down all the little pieces and we are going to use the whole bottom of this card I have really been enjoying not just sticking to one side I like adding bits to both sides if it's possible because you know oftentimes especially for a card like this with all these little pups on it This might be a card that my entire family would want to sign and give to somebody or you know a group whoever but this way it gives a lot of room for the recipients to be able to sign the inside of that card, which is a lot of fun. They've got their little cake, and now we're going to add a couple little hats. So how fun is this? Fun little scene for these little guys. Love it. And I'm loving that color palette. All right, so now we'll go ahead and make sure that our seam is good and tight, and then we will attach down our card panel to our card base using some more of that liquid glue. And once that is on there nice and secure, that's actually going to finish off our card. So I love the color palette that we chose. I love that it, there's so much green grass. It's wonderful, super fun scene that we have here. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Thanks for stopping by.